Hello everyone and welcome to Divi Modules. My name's David. In this video, I'll be working with the Divi Modules Table Maker module and showing you all of the different types of content that you can add to your tables. In a previous video, we saw how we can add text to our tables. And in this video, we'll be going through HTML, CSS, escape characters, icons, buttons, images and cells, as well as short codes and iframes. There's a lot to get through, so let's get started. Let's begin with HTML. Here we have the content for this first column in the table. And if we wanted this word to be bold, we could simply use the HTML bold tag or strong tag. If we wanted this word to be italic, we could use the HTML italic tag or emphasis tag. We can also add headings using heading tags. And you can see in this case, the editor has automatically added some extra lines which show up as extra cells in the table. So we just need to delete those so that everything is on one line for it to display correctly. We can also add links using anchor tags. And this word is now a link. If we wanted to force a line break somewhere in our text, we could use the HTML break tag, which can also be written like this. Finally, if we want to include multiple paragraphs in a single cell, we could use the HTML paragraph tag. And you can see that once again, the editor has included some extra cells. So we just need to delete those so that everything is on a single line. And now we can copy and paste as many paragraphs as we need. Now, if you're familiar at all with HTML, you'll know that there is a lot more that we could do here. We could theoretically include a whole layout in a single cell, but the purpose of this video is just to keep things simple and to help you get started. Let's move on to CSS. Just like with HTML, we can add inline CSS directly to this editor. So for example, if we wanted this word to be red, we could wrap it in a span element and then add our inline style. Color, red. We could make this word green the same way. But perhaps this time we could use a hex color. This word could be underlined, span, style, text, decoration, underline. And finally, this word could be made small and perhaps bold as well. Style, font size, 50%. Once again, if you're familiar at all with CSS, you'll realize that this is really just the tip of the iceberg of what could be done with CSS styles. Now let's talk about escape characters. Because this rows field is essentially an HTML editor, there are certain characters which are reserved by the HTML language itself and that you should avoid using directly within your table content. These are the less than symbol, the greater than symbol, ampersand, apostrophe, and quote. Now, while it may look like these characters are displaying correctly here in the back end, if we have a look on the front end, 
you can see that the less than symbol is not displaying. We can fix that using TableMaker's escape characters. The escape character for the less than symbol is double curly brackets LT. For greater than, double curly brackets GT. For ampersand, double curly brackets AMP. For apostrophe, double curly brackets APOS. And for quote, double curly brackets Q-U-O-T. If we save this now, and then have another look on the front end, we can see that that now is displaying correctly. So if you're ever in a situation where you need to use one of these characters and are getting unexpected results, then try using TableMaker's escape characters instead. Now let's move on to icons, buttons, images and cells. I'll be going through each of these in a lot more detail in future videos. For now, I just want to give you a quick idea of each. We can add an image to the table using TableMaker's image tag. Image settings can be found under column images and table images. And this is also where the images themselves are loaded. You can see I've got five images. I can change the image that's displayed simply by entering the image number between the tags. Icons can be added using the icon tag. And we can have multiple icons per cell and per column. I can override the default icon by entering the name of the icon I want between the tags. And a complete list of available icons is available on the Divi Modules website. Icon settings are found under column icons and table icons. Buttons can be added using the button tag. And here you can see the editor has added in some extra lines which we don't need. I can override the default button text simply by entering the text I want between the tags. Button settings are found under column buttons and table buttons. Finally, the cell tag allows us to modify the appearance of the table cell itself, not just the content. So for example, if I wanted this cell to be yellow, I could enter a custom style for that here. Background, yellow. As I said, I'll go through each of these in a lot more detail in future videos. Finally, tables can also display shortcodes and iframes. I have here a shortcode for a plugin called Metaslider, and I can paste that shortcode directly into the editor. Shortcodes don't preview in the back end, but if we save this, and then have a look on the front end. You can see that it's displaying correctly. Iframes also can be pasted directly into the editor. Here I've got a YouTube iframe. You can see on the back end, the preview is a little bit off, but if we save that and then have a look on the front end, you can see that it's displaying correctly. Well, that's it for this video. As you can see, there are a lot of options for adding content to Divi Modules Table Maker tables, and hopefully this video will help you get started. Thanks for watching.